everybody, it's Jen again, and I'm here today with a DIY video. Oh yes, um, I've had a few requests for this one, so I just wanted to get on here and get this filmed and get it out, and that is how I make my homemade laundry detergent. Now, I do the powder version of it just because I make so much at one time. And ain't nobody got space to store all that liquid. Now, this is not a recipe that I invented or anything like that. We've been using it for years and years and years and years and years. I think we found it in some, like, old uh, home, make your own, you know, 101 things to make at home type book a long time ago. And um, we just really enjoyed it. I've been using it ever since works better we've switched back to the commercial a few times and it just we didn't like it half as much so the detergent that i make is made out of three ingredients there are other recipes out there that add you know like oxyclean to it and all this other stuff i find that we prefer to add that stuff separately because you don't need it and every load and it keeps the cost down and this three ingredients it works perfect for us um, but anyway let me show you those the first one you're going to need is borax uh, the second one you're going to need this is washing soda now this is not baking soda this is washing soda. You'll find this um, along with the borax in the laundry section. It's not baking soda. Washing soda. <laughs> um, and then laundry soap. Now, um, you, a lot of people make their own laundry soap, but the two most popular ones in the store and that I have used, um, the Sauté soap. Um, it comes in this white variety as well as the pink. Um, and then uh, the Fells nap the soap which here's what the label looks like i have mine all out but it's the purex fells nap the um and yeah these are laundry bars you don't find these in the like bar soap aisle these are in the laundry aisle uh, the basic recipe is one cup washing soda one cup borax and one bar grated up which i'll show y'all in a minute so um now, the Fells Nap, the bar, the Fells Nap, that I count this as one bar. The Sauté Soap, I count as two bars. So, um, if I'm doing the Fells Nap, that I do one bar and then one cup, one cup of, you know, of each, the borax and the washing soda. If I'm doing the Sauté, I do uh, one bar of Sauté, two cups, two cups. Does that make sense? Because I feel like the size difference is so, you know, this is two bars to this one bar because the original recipe called for the Fells naphtha so yeah that's basically uh what it is um things you're going to need to well to grate up the soap you're going to need a grater um and i just have one of these big graters and then i have a big like tupperware thing that i just sit and watch tv and grate the soap um i use this size this little bitty size right here um, you know, you're going to need a measuring cup to measure out your cups. Um, you're probably going to need something to shake or mix the, um, laundry detergent up in. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. The hardest part is, uh, crumbling the soap. Now, um, that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to get this soap all powdered up. And a tip for this, because I've given people this recipe and they've had trouble with this, um, when you first buy the soap and it's still in the wrapper and stuff here, it can be somewhat creamy and soft. And, um, we really want a very fine powder, especially me. We have a front load HE washer. So I want that powder just as fine as I can get it. So what I actually do when I buy the soap, I take the, um, wrapping off of it. Let me see if I can lift this here without dropping. Oh, yes. I take the wrapping off of it and I just set them in like, oh, it smells good. I just set them in like a container and I keep enough space in between them. And I let them set out for like at least two weeks before I ever fool with them. And I let them kind of dry out. Because like I said, when I go to grate it, I want it to just be powdery, fine, and crumbly. Because I'll show you what will happen. If you don't let it dry out, and this is what my dad tried to do, this is what happens. You get this gummed up grater, and it, it ain't going to do you any good. It'll just be just gummy as all get out. 
nothing will come out of it except for these big clumps and what we really want is a powder so before I get to it I just want to say real quick um, as for soaps you can use I have heard people having luck with ivory soap um, they haven't had any problems with that especially if they're super super sensitive skin um, you don't want to use a health like um, like a beauty bar like Olay, Dial, anything like that for this detergent because those have oils and things in them to keep from not drying your skin out. And what that translates to in a laundry detergent is oil spots on your clothes. So you definitely don't want to use that. I have never personally used ivory, but there I've seen people have great success with it. I just use these two. I use the Fells Naphtha. This is a much more heavy duty like stain fighting um, bar and then the saute I make separate batches you know of each this is a lot more sensitive and gentle on clothes especially if you have like um, what delicate clothes or babies clothes and stuff like that again though it, I have sensitive skin and it hasn't affected me but if you know I can't say that for everybody but anyway so let's get into making a batch of this stuff and yeah let's just get to it Okay, so I got that whole bar all nice and grated up. <laughs> Didn't cut myself once. You have to be really careful when the piece gets tiny because these are real sharp and you'll just be going along and it'll get you. But whoo, that stuff dries out your hands too. Like I said, it's not like body soap. But that's what one bar of the Fells Naphtha looks like or uh, got it upside down there. Okay, so one cup of washing soda, one cup of borax. Okay, now sometimes you get these big clumps in here, the borax and the washing soda, for whatever reason, or the ones I have, they like to clump up. So I just go in here and try to smash as many clumps as I can, and you know, get it all nice and all up under my fingernails and stuff. That's why I did not paint my nails today. <laughs> Okay, and then now you could take a spoon and mix this up or just whatever. I have another container I use for the, some of them it's a giant salsa container. Um, but just something, I think it's easier to just shake it up. But you could stir it up or do whatever. mixed up enough for me this recipe makes about one quart so I got a quart picker picker <laughs> quart pickle jar that I've just cleaned out and all that goodness and um, I can use this funnel I actually made me a redneck funnel there out of cutting the top off a water jug so And there we go. The soap bar, uh, grating it up, is the hardest part. It takes me about for a, um, that bar took me, I timed myself as like a little over eight minutes. So, and I haven't done it in a year. So that's not too bad. Less than 10 minutes, you got some detergent. Now you might be thinking, this don't look like much detergent. You don't need to use near as much as you use of the um, store-bought powder because the store-bought has a lot of filler in it. I mean, you can look on the back. It has a lot of salt and things in it. This doesn't have any filler. So for this, you use one tablespoon for a regular load or two tablespoons for a large load or a heavily soiled load. And that's all you need. Um, we, my dad, we've been washing his laundry with it for years and he gets hydraulic fluid all over him and just all kinds of stuff. And this gets it right out. We've never had any problems. Um, 
we do have an HE washer. Um, it's a front-loading HE washer, and we put uh, two tablespoons right in the drum and never had any problems. I and mean, then we usually wash on warm, too, which is not very, you know, hot. Um, that's another reason you really want the really fine granules. I mean, that um, letting the soap dry out really just lets it crumble and powder off of there. And it's a lot easier to grate. <laughs> it's impossible to grate when it's creamy. But, um, yeah, um, as far as, like, the money value of it, because I do like to talk about that, um... The washing soda usually runs you like four or five bucks. The borax, four or five bucks, but you're going to get... Uh, the washing soda is a little bit smaller box, but you're probably going to get six to seven, um, you know, cups out of each of those. So six to seven of these, and then every load you're going to need... Um, a laundry bar, which, you know, they're about a dollar. So if you're looking for more cost effective and you don't need like heavy staining or stain fighting, the saute is a lot more cost effective. These are like a buck and you get a two bar size. So, um, you know, you can just figure that. I mean, I could coupon laundry detergent for the same price, but I really just like this better. Um, and another thing to add, what about adding fragrance to it? I see people do this, and I tried that for the first few batches I made. I added some, like, lavender essential and a eucalyptus. I didn't find that it mixed well in here. It just clumped up and everything. The Fells Naphtha has, that. I mean, it has a really nice soapy scent anyway, so I don't really see a point in it. But if you want a good, you know, a really smelling laundry, I would just get those, like, Purex crystals or the what you call it, the downy unstoppables and those, they will do you. Um, another thing to add, don't be alarmed if your laundry doesn't bubble up as much as their suds. This doesn't have those, uh, what are they, like sulfates or, um, I forget what they call it, the stuff they put in the commercial detergent to make it bubble, bubble, bubble. This does not have that. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't bubble. Um, yeah, and I mean, like I said, I've been using this for years. I really do love it. And I think these make really great holiday gifts. Like if you're looking for something. Like if you're like me, you like making stuff. And I'll make these and put them in little like... I usually do a pint so I can let them try it out. And I'll do like a pint mason jar. And um, I will make a little gift tag. And I'll put the recipe on it. And I'll put like homemade detergent and a little ribbon. It looks real cute. And people really love that crap and it's really cheap. Hopefully this was helpful. And thank you all so much for watching and thank you to all my subscribers, both new ones and ones that have been with me for a while. And again, I am Jen. And until next time, happy making crap. <laughs> I don't know. Bye.